All right, while Hannah's drawing a little bit, I figured I would show you her bookshelves for May. Um, this is the toy storage that we use. It is an Ikea Expedit bookcase, and um, it works really well. Obviously, there's eight different stations. So this first one is a car ramp, and when you unfold it, it becomes a ramp. And then I've got two toys, a red and a blue car from Green Toys. And this is all recycled plastic, and they're just great. And the nice thing about them is that they roll quietly. Um, so you don't hear that like clacking or anything like those are good toys. Oh. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Hannah. All right. This next station is very popular this month. It is a tray that I got from Ikea for $5. If it's perfectly in this little Expedit bookcase. Um, and then I've got balls and different shapes, um, and different shapes, colors, and sizes. And so that way, when she picks something out, we talk about what color it is. And then if she picks two things out, we point out which one's bigger and which one's smaller. So big and small. So it's been really good for vocabulary and reinforcing uh, difference in colors and difference in sizes. So I really like this. It's kind of a pain to pick, to pick up, but if you just tell her, you know, pick up all your balls, she knows exactly where to put them. So that's a great little tray this month. All right, you probably recognize this. It is an infant uh, stacking toy, but I took the rings off that you usually see and I replaced them with these. I got these at Walmart in the water toys aisle. And basically they're just like rings that float. I picked the red, yellow, and blue ones because those are the first colors introduced by Montessori. Um, but I like that you can play with them outside. I like that they fit easily over her arms and legs and that she can throw them on the ground and like jump into them. She, these are very popular and she likes them a lot. Um, I also like that they are really easy to clean because they're plastic. So that was a good purchase. I think that was about $5. All right, this is um, her cups, her stacking cups. As you can see, she still uses them for that. She's getting really good at it. Um, but it came with this lid that turns it into a shape sorter. Hannah, don't rip paper. In this little container next to it, I have all the shapes that go with it. And so she can pull this out and do a shape sorting activity. Now this down here is also a shape sorter. We got this from a friend, but it's just slightly different. And the nice thing is, is that, um, you know, all of these activities probably have the same shapes, but they're usually in different colors. So you can still pull out like the triangle from this toy and the triangle from that toy and the triangle from one of these toys down here. And they're all gonna be different colors. So you can use them to compare with each other. All right, in this next station, um, this is a little picnic basket that we got from uh, Hannah's aunt and while it doesn't scream like shape sorter, it really does help influence the concept. So you can have some imaginary play because obviously you're supposed to set up a picnic. But it comes with these plates and food that matches the different shapes. So there's two different servings and so it teaches her um, sharing. We talk about the different, you know, fruit and food. We talk about the colors of the plates because there's a yellow and a blue one. So it just kind of introduces a dialogue. Hannah's yelling at the dogs because they're barking. So anyways, that is a really cute toy to play with. All right, this is the uh, wooden shape sorting cube that I'm pretty sure she had on her shelves in April. She still really likes it. She still pulls it out multiple times a day, so we've left it on the shelves. Now this is one that we took off the shelves for a couple months because, months because it's pretty simplistic. Um, but I think since we were doing shapes and colors that we would pull it out again and she is really like significantly better at it than she used to be um it's an easy toy to take care of because it only has <laughs> it has annoying music but it only has the four shapes you can buy other ones um but we just kept it with the four shapes it's storage it's easy to carry so i really like this toy hannah had it when she was very young so it's a toy obviously that can grow with your child so i think it was a, a pretty good investment it's one of those toys I think that teaches them to clean up because they can um, easily put the toy away just by dropping it into the top when they're little and then as they get older they can learn how to put them through the side. All right let's go over and show you the new toy section. All right so I have replaced our um, entertainment center which was really way too small for the job with this expedit. Over here we've got um, a tunnel that collapsed down nicely so that's really good and we've got obviously the Wii Fit board. Um, this first basket is kind of like my junk basket. It's the toys and parts of toys that we're not using right now. So like the rings from that infant stacker are in there. Um, also toys that I'm kind of hiding from her go in that basket because for some reason she just never goes in that basket. Um, 
obviously that's our Wii, that is our um, Xbox, and those, since since this is all new, this is a new setup from a couple weekends ago, um, I still need to get boxes to put everything in. So uh, those two are kind of a mess. We've got this, I like this little container, it's from Melissa and Doug, right? Um, you can usually find these Melissa and Doug containers at Goodwill, and they're usually only a couple dollars. And they're really good to, um, you know, present the toy with a work area. So, um, Hannah just doesn't throw the blocks up on the shelf. She puts them back in the box, which is really nice. We've just got some basic, um, you know, alphabet blocks. And Hannah has been, like, if I turn the page in a magazine and there's really big font, she starts, like, shouting out random letters from the alphabet. So... She's at least recognizing that those shapes correspond to these, like, sounds that we're <laughs> making, you know, A, B, C, D. So, um, this is just to kind of help reinforce that idea. Um, we've got the old standby of the lacing beads. This is the only one we have misplaced <laughs> in, like, five months, which is pretty good. Um, and I think it's actually downstairs. <clears throat> so, in this first basket... We have the rest of her cars and little people. We've got our mega blocks. These are um, stacking blocks by Green Toys. And then we also have these little stacking blocks. This bin doesn't get used as much anymore because Hannah's outgrown it a little bit. But I'm keeping it around because um, we might have some younger kids coming soon, so I wanted to keep some um, toys of all different age groups available. So mainly over here, Hannah just uses these four. Um, she's not very interested. She never goes in there. And then obviously those are adult toys, which Hannah has actually done a very good job of leaving alone. So I'm really proud of her. And the last area I want to show you is Hannah's new drawing area. All right, so this is a purchase from Ikea. Um, it is so affordable. If, you, if your child likes to draw and you have 20 bucks laying around, go to Ikea. All right, so first this table is their basic lac table. It's $8.00 which is amazing, right? <laughs> it's eight dollars for this little table. Hi Annie. Hi Annie, which is like perfect for toddlers. Um, yes, you can go on the back porch. This paper roller is seven dollars. It's solid wood and I like that it's got these little tracks to put her color pencils. Hannah's currently holding her color pencils, but yes. And then this roll of paper is uh, five dollars. So eight, seven, five, twenty bucks and you have a little drawing table. So this has been perfect. Hannah loves it and she gets a lot of use out of it. And I lied earlier when I said the last place I wanted to show you was her drawing area because I forgot her bookcase over here. So let's check that out. All right, up on the top we've got storage of um, toys that she's not currently using. The, um, the middle shelf is her puzzles. Remember I just did a video about puzzles in Montessori Monday. So these are um, like cars and stuff. So fire truck, she's starting to learn those, that vocabulary, which is good. This is her shapes puzzle. Um, this is the chunky puzzle, which is still pretty easy for her, and I'll probably swap this out for the safari puzzle in a couple weeks. And then down here is her music shelf. So she's got her guitar, her little maraca things, her little clappers. Um, this is a bell that she really likes. Um, all the way to her kazoo and her harmonica and her microphone and her xylophone. And then those are just some books, some chunky books that she likes. All right, so that's what the shells look like this month. And then you've got her drawing area right next to it. And that's the bookcase that we were just looking at with the puzzles. And then the books that I picked this month are uh, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, My Little Counting Book, Green Eggs and Ham, and then Baby's First Words. This book is really, <laughs> really too simplistic. Um, cup, bowl. But if you have a younger child, this is a really great book hats, shoes. Pretty sure I got this at, yeah, I got it at Goodwill for $3. So, yeah. That is her um, shelves, her toy shelves for May. And as you can see, there is just one toy per shelf. And that way Hannah knows exactly where things go when she cleans up. So she can clean up 90% of the mess on her own. I usually just go back before bed and I kind of beautify it. <laughs> I make every, sure everything's like centered in the little cubes. But um, she does most of the work because she knows where everything's home is. And I think that is the major step that a lot of toy rooms are missing is that 
the toys don't have an identified home. So the kid doesn't really know where they go when they clean up. Um, this method has worked really well for us. And um, I will include a link below to the IKEA Expedit if you want to check it out. I hope you guys have a great Monday and I will talk to you next week. Bye.